Happy Tuesday, everyone. Today's story is Big Sister Barbara. In the quiet village of Chuaponkud, there lived a sweet little lamb by the name of Barbara Muttons. Barbara had everything a young sheep could wish for, grown-ups to take care of her, lots of nice things to eat, and a cuddly cow called Lula Bell. There was just one thing missing from Barbara's life, and more than anything in the world, she wanted to be a big sister to an actual real-life baby. I would love it and squeeze it, and we'd be the bestest friends in the whole wide world, thought Barbara. Well, sometimes wishes really do come true, and a baby was on the way. As the months went by, Barbara's excitement grew and grew until at last the big day came. They're here! There in the crib was a big, big surprise. Not one, not two, not three, not even four, but five new brothers and sisters. <gasps> We're going to the best of friends, Barbara whispered. Barbara made every effort to impress the new arrivals. Once upon a sheep, but they were a difficult crowd to please. Ta-da! Have patience, her parents told her. They're still too small to play, but before you know it, they will be big just like you. How long is that going to take, thought Barbara. Being a big sister wasn't nearly as much fun as she thought. But the babies did grow and that was worse. First, there was the mess. They chewed and splatted and dribbled all day long. There was the noise. They bleated and they baaed and crashed and banged from noon till night. And finally, there was the smell. How could Anything so small be so disgusting. Blech. Being a big sister was the worst. Sweet little lambs? No, these babies were monsters. Stop, please, not my little bell. Enough is enough, thought Barbara. These babies have got to go. But where? Nana and Pop Pop wouldn't take them. The charity bins were full to burst in and the neighbours had more than enough kids of their own. But then a very, very clever idea popped into Barbara's head. Just snip into the post office, Mama, said Barbara. I won't be long. Mrs Piggles was surprised to see Barbara. Are you here to post a letter, dear? She asked. I would like to send this to New Zealand, said Barbara. She handed over a big, heavy box. Oh, peace at last, she thought. No more babies. Back at home, everything was lovely and quiet. Just me, myself and I, sang Barbara. There was no one to mess up her room, or ruin her toys, or spoil her games. It was perfect. So, why was her wool standing on end and fear nibbling at her hooves? What if... Oh, my chops, the babies. What has she done? Barbara knew she had made a big mistake. Mama, quick, we have to go to the post office. Faster, Mama, or we'll be too late. Barbara tumbled through the door of the post office and there they were. Mrs. Piggles had not posted the package. I thought you might be back, Barbara, she said. Barbara squeezed her brothers and sisters so tightly and they all squeezed her back. <gasps> I love you, she whispered, and I'll always take care of you. And from that day on, Barbara was the best big sister in the whole wide 
world? Well, mostly. <laughs> the end.